guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the Tottenham Career Mode. And straight off the bat, you will see that it says episodes 11 and 12. Now, extremely frustratingly, the uh, the file that I, uh, I recorded episode number 11 with has corrupted and won't work. I've lost that footage. So, unfortunately, I'm only able to show you the results from the uh, three games from that episode, which was a 1-0 defeat against Burnley in the Capital One Cup quarter-final. A 1-1 draw against Genk, which has secured our progression through to the next round of the Europa League. And a 1-1 draw again, this time against Sunderland in the Premier League. So, we sit sixth, as you can see on screen, with uh, a game in hand on the teams above us. We can close up if we're able to pick up a victory against Fulham. But uh, this episode is a bit of a slow burner to start off with, but really, really gets going as we hit the later games. This game against Fulham was a complete no-show from both teams. Christian Eriksen went close. There's not really any backlift on that effort, but there's too much loft on the ball, too much elevation, not enough whip, not enough sideways movement, and it does sail harmlessly over the bar. And we're going to get another chance here into the second half. Lennon's going to square the ball across, and Eriksen just doesn't challenge for the ball whatsoever. I don't know whether whether it was because he got that bump off the defender, but he just watched the ball sail over his head, and I was so frustrated that uh, he hadn't challenged for the header there because he really could have stand, stood a good chance of getting on the end of that. And this is a lovely ball for Soldado from Paulinho, but unfortunately, the finish is straight at the goalkeeper. There's no accuracy with it, and he isn't able to put us 1 0 up. And then Kasami in the 90th minute is going to go on an amazing run there. We get a block in, ball's going to fall back to Kasami, and again, we get a good block in to stop him from having a decent chance on goal and causing us any threat but as you can see it finished nil nil there weren't many chances whatsoever and it really was a board draw but this game against Liverpool was a lot more entertaining we've got Liverpool at home this time and uh, it is of course a, a big game considering they are above us if we can win by two goals or more we will go above them because uh, we'll have level goal difference and I think we score or we have more goals scored than them which is how they work the uh, the positional stats out if you have the same points and goal difference but uh, it was a tough game actually Gerard went close there really should have done better with that early effort but we were able to nip the ball off them here Colo Torre lacks in possession and I thought the referee was going to give a foul which is why I just kind of ran with Soldado and didn't really do anything with it until uh, I realised that the referee was going to play on and I played the through boot through Oh, I'll start that again. I played the ball through to Christian Eriksen, who had a glorious first touch. Set the ball up perfectly for that first time, or second time, effort into the bottom corner. Really rifling finish. Fantastic. And uh, that put us 1-0 up. They came close there. Jordan Henderson with a decent effort and a pretty similar effort to uh, the first one here, our goal. But this time, Mignolet has learnt from his mistake and is able to shut off that near post with a good save. And it palms the out for a corner but Ericsson's going to whip it in Sandro's going to go up with a header wins it cleanly and uh, unfortunately it rifles off the top of the bar and goes out for a goal kick so we go in at half time 1-0 up a decent first half performance we were on top Liverpool creating chances though so the threat was definitely there but uh, we were going to get a chance here Ericsson's going to cut inside and draw another good save out of Simon Mignolet another fantastic save from him and he was definitely keeping Liverpool in it so I made a couple of changes brought on Dembele for some pace out wide and Capu to make sure that we were able to hold on to that lead through the middle some uh, extra security defensively because uh, Liverpool was still creating chances but Christian Eriksen picks the ball up here cuts outside this time and that is a glorious strike with his weak foot back across the goalkeeper I don't know whether Mignolet was wrong footed and uh, whether that was actually how it managed to get into the back of the net but it was a stupendous strike from Christian Eriksen he's going to score both the goals in this game that are going to secure us victory as you can see here I don't know whether Skirtle or Daniel Aga I'm not too sure which defender it was if it had stood tall there rather than jumping and turning his back maybe he could have got a block on that but we do take a valuable three points from that game in the Premier League three points that we definitely did need because we're starting to lose touch with the teams in those Champions League positions and they're talking of Europa League or talking of Europe we come up into a game in the Europa League against Kuban Krasnodar they were a side that really surprised me in the first game at home I underestimated them and they made me pay they picked up a point at White Hart Lane and uh, we were definitely going to be up against it away from home in Russia against them but uh, we pick up a penalty there it's clear handball you can see the ball juts and uh, it deviates from its course as they both go up for the header there the, uh, the Kuban Krasnodar player has his arm up above his forehead it hits his hands before coming off my player's forehead so uh, it definitely was a penalty and uh, we were going to go 1-0 up but Popov shows fantastic strength here to shrug off three different challenges before whipping the ball in to Ignatiev who just beats Danny Rose for strength and height even at the back post to, uh, to bring them back on level terms just before half time in first half stoppage time and they were actually going to get in front 
here. Popov involved again. This time I'm going to play the ball through to Gibral. Cisse plays a lovely through ball to Sorev. It shows great feet to switch it from his right to his left to then get it underneath Brad Friedel into the back of the net in the 68th minute. And we were really up against it. So I thought, right, I'm going to make a couple of changes. We're going to freshen it up. And uh, I brought on three substitutes. We're going to bring Soldado on. Going to bring... Um, I can't even remember. I'm taking Defoe, Dembele and Sigurdsson off. And uh, before I even got the chance to bring those players off, Townsend's going to play in Jermaine Defoe, who's coming off, by the way. This is not cut at all. This is straight away from making those substitutional changes. And Defoe smashes one off the bar. It's an absolute worldie of a strike. Outside of his right foot. And he does love the outside of his right foot. As we said, he doesn't really like hitting it with his weak foot. And there's so much power behind that and accuracy that he, the goalkeeper just stood no chance. And then we made the changes. And literally just two minutes later, Soldado is another fantastic strike across the goalkeeper into that top left-hand corner. Defoe was about to come off, scores a fantastic goal. Soldado, just on the pitch, scores a fantastic goal. And it's a two-minute turnaround, ten minutes from time. We actually pick up three points from that. And that is enough to win us the Europa League uh, group from... Uh, I think I can't remember which group we are. Group B, I think, at a guess. But nonetheless, we are going to win the group. So hopefully that will give us a quote-unquote easier draw in the next round. The knockout stages of the Europa League. We'll have to wait and see who we get drawn against. But that is going to bring this particular episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. Of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a link in the description and on screen over the subscribe button to do so if you haven't. And of course, feel free to check the previous episode if you did miss it by clicking on the annotation on the screen over the play button but that is going to wrap this particular episode up guys so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time